Are you sure you're holding the blast hose the best way? We're gonna show you how to hold it so it's safer and more comfortable. Coming up next. I've been taught many different ways how to blast and how to hold a blast hose. It goes from over the shoulder, like this. Some guys are taught underneath their arms like this. But the correct way, the more safer way, is to loop it between your legs and hold it into your chest like this. At this way, the pressure that's exuding from the end of the blast hose is going back into your chest. The issue with holding it this way is when you're talking about 110, 115 PSI, it's gonna to wanna to pull you back and pull your arms back behind it. And if you can imagine working like that for six, eight, 10 hours, your shoulders are gonna wear out much more quicker. Also, there's a safety issue as you're holding it like this of the hose exploding and going into your neck. This could be an issue. The other way many of you were taught was holding it like this. This again is another way to increase your fatigue as it's constantly wanting to pull back on your chest and both of your shoulders causing wear and tear. And when you're down far like this, it's harder to do a pattern back and forth or up or down. The other thing, holding it against your chest like this is also more productive. As the pressure is coming out of the end of the nozzle, the nozzle is gonna to wanna to keep going up anyway. So basically all you're doing is if you're doing a downward pattern is bringing it down or you're going left to right. With the pressure being into your chest, basically all you're doing is maneuvering the nozzle itself, going back and forth, which doing that makes it more productive. If you guys would like to see another video on blasting techniques, check the video out right here. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.